supposed to be any one thing, one feeling. Um, so I wish you success in finding peace with wherever you are in life. And if we can all do that, peace on earth might just follow y'all. Merry Christmas. And if it's not merry, change it. This is special. We're getting it done, people. Jimmy Fallon welcomes Penelope Cruz. The more we learn about COVID-19, the more questions and worries we have. Cal Hope can help with free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Welcome to Hope USA. feeling that exists inside us all and real places where Wells Fargo and small businesses are working together to help bring hope to the streets of our communities and beyond. If you're feeling anxious about the future, you're not alone. Cal Hope offers free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news, a new oil sheen. This one about the size of a football field and was spotted off the coast of Orange County. Tonight, crews are out there trying to figure out exactly what happened. Good evening, I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Colleen Williams. Now, the area they are searching tonight is off Folsa Chica State Beach, which is just north, as you can see on the map, north of Huntington Beach. Let's get right now to Ileana Moreno, News Chopper 4 Alpha. Ileana? And we're just off of Bolsa Chica State Park where first responders are searching the area, trying to locate those sheens just about half a mile from the coast. But as you can see, it's very dark out here. So they're going to wait till morning to bring out some helicopters and some additional boats to continue their search. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you, Eliana. Our own Robert Kavasik is also out there tonight. He's down on the ground live with the latest Robert. Chuck and Colleen, we want to let you know that this started with a caller that let officials know that they spotted tar in the water. Tonight we heard from a councilman from Huntington Beach who says, oh yeah, there's definitely oil out there. And then the Huntington Beach Police Department also heard from a number of people, got a number of phone calls saying that they had a strong oil smell in the air coming from PCH and Warner. Now to get to where we're standing here outside of Bolsa Chica State Beach, which is closed right now, we had to pass PCH and Warner, and yes, there is a very strong oil smell there. To make matters worse, this started with a report of just one sheen in the water. Perhaps now there may be more. We're going to get an update from Huntington Beach City Councilman Dan Kalmick, who got an update from officials who flew over the water just about an hour ago. Our helicopter uh, was up in the air and spotted three large oil slicks, one about the size of a football field and two other ones about half the size of football fields. We currently have teams, city teams out booming the Talbert Marsh and uh, CDFW and some, with some help, I believe, from some city folks are out there booming the uh, entrance to the Bolsa Chica Marsh. But we definitely have oil in the water. So again, what they're trying to do right now is protect those fragile wetlands of the Talbot Marsh and Bolsa Chica. That's why they're already putting the booms out in the water. The question on everyone's mind, is this actually a new spill or is this related to the major oil spill back in October from that ruptured pipeline that spilled 25,000 gallons into the ocean. We're not going to know that. Perhaps officials aren't going to know that for quite some time. Certainly not until daylight, and they're already making those plans to get out there. The Coast Guard, as well as California Fish and Wildlife, to make sure that they're out there. But, Chuck, as we go back to you, there is one possibility that they're considering, and this may help people who live along the coastline sleep a little better tonight. Is it possible that these now three slicks or sheens that have been spotted in the Pacific near where that pipeline ruptured in the first place perhaps is residue, and we've told you about residue in the past from that ruptured pipeline, 
residue from that ruptured pipeline that perhaps just...